सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर एट कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटीज फ्रॉम पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन टू पेज वन थर्टी सिक्स लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर एट कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटीज पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन 8.1 recalling ratios and percentages we know ratio means comparing two quantities a basket has two types of fruits say 20 apples and 5 oranges then the ratio of the number of oranges to the number of apples is equal to 5 is to 20 the comparison can be done by using fractions as 5 by 20 is equal to 1 by 4 the number of oranges is 1 by 4th the number of apples in terms of ratio this is 1 is to 4 read as 1 is to 4 or number of apples to number of oranges is equal to 20 by 5 is equal to 4 by 1 which means the number of apples is 4 times the number of oranges This comparison can also be done by using percentages. There are five oranges out of twenty-five fruits, so percentage of oranges is five by twenty-five into four by four is equal to twenty by hundred is equal to twenty percent. Denominator made hundred, or by unitary method, out of twenty-five fruits, number of oranges are five. so out of 100 fruits number of oranges is equal to 5 by 25 into 100 is equal to 20 since the basket contains only apples and oranges so percentage of apples plus percentage of oranges is equal to 100 or percentage of apples plus 20 is equal to 100 or percentage of apples is equal to 100 minus 20 is equal to 80 thus the basket has 20% oranges and 80% apples example 1 a picnic is being planned in a school for class 7th girls are 60% of the total number of students and are 18 in number the picnic site is 55 kilometers from the school and the transport company is charging at the rate of rupees 12 per kilometer the total cost of refreshments will be rupees 4280 page 118 can you tell 1 the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys in the class 2 the cost per head if two teachers are also going with the class 3 If their first stop is at a place 22 kilometers from the school what percent of the total distance of 55 kilometers is this what percent of the distance is left to be covered solution 1 to find the ratio of girls to boys ashima and john came up with the following answers they needed to know the number of boys and also the total number of students ashima did this let the total number of students be x 60% of x is girls therefore 60% of x is equal to 18 60 by 100 into x is equal to 18 or x is equal to 18 multiplied by 100 divided by 60 is equal to 30 number of students is equal to 30 or john used the unitary method there are 60 girls out of 100 students there is one girl out of 100 by 60 students so 18 girls are out of how many students number of students is equal to 100 by 60 multiplied by 18 so the number of boys is equal to 30 minus 18 is equal to 12 hence ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys 
is 18 is to 12 or 18 by 12 is equal to 3 by 2. 3 by 2 is written as 3 dot dot 2 and is read as 3 is to 2. 2. To find the cost per person, transportation charge is equal to distance both ways into rate is equal to rupees 55 multiplied by 2 within brackets multiplied by 12 is equal to rupees 110 into 12 is equal to rupees 1320. Total expenses is equal to refreshment charge plus transportation charge is equal to rupees 4280 plus rupees 1320 is equal to rupees 5600. Total number of persons is equal to 18 girls plus 12 boys plus 2 teachers is equal to 32 persons. Ashima and John then used unitary method to find the cost per head. For 32 persons, amount spent would be rupees 5600. The amount spent for one person is equal to rupees 5600 divided by 32, which is equal to rupees 175. 3. The distance of the people where first stop was made is equal to 22 kilometers. Page 119. To find the percentage of distance, Ashima used this method. 22 by 55 is equal to 22 by 55 into 100 by 100 is equal to 40%. She is multiplying the ratio by 100 by 100 is equal to 1 and converting to percentage. Or, John used the unitary method. Out of 55 kilometers, 22 kilometers are travelled. Out of 1 kilometer, 22 by 55 kilometers are travelled. Out of 100 kilometers, 22 by 55 in 200 kilometers are travelled. That is, 40% of the total distance is travelled. Both came out with the same answer that the distance from their school of the place where they stopped at was 40% of the total distance they had to travel. Therefore, the percent distance left to be travelled is equal to 100% minus 40% is equal to 60%. Try these. In a primary school, the parents were asked about the number of hours they spent per day in helping their children to do homework. There were 90 parents who helped for half hour to one and a half hours. The distribution of parents according to the time for which they said they helped is given in the adjoining figure. 20% helped for more than one and a half hours per day. 30% helped for half hour to one and a half hours. 50% did not help at all. Using this, answer the following. 1. How many parents were surveyed? 2. How many said they did not help? 3. How many said that they helped? for more than one and a half hours. There is a circle given here. The circle has been divided into three parts. 50% did not help at all. 30% helped for half hour to one and a half hour. 20% helped for more than one and a half hour. Exercise 8.1 1. one. Find the ratio of the following. A. Speed of a cycle 15 km per hour to the speed of scooter 30 km per hour. B. 5 meter to 10 km. C. 50 paise to rupees 5. 2. Convert the following ratios to percentages. A. 3 is to 4. B. 2 is to 3. 3. 72% of 25 students are interested in mathematics. How many are not interested in mathematics? 4. 
a football team won 10 matches out of total number of matches they played if their win percentage was 40 then how many matches did they play in all 5 if chameli had rupees 600 left after spending 75% of her money how much did she have in the beginning page 120 6 if 60% people in a city like cricket 30% like football and the remaining like other games then what percent of the people like other games if the total number of people is 50 lakh find the exact number who like each type of game 8.2 finding the increase or decrease percent we often come across such information in our daily life as 1 25% off on marked prices 2 10% hike in the price of petrol let us consider a few such examples example 2 the price of a scooter was 34000 last year it has increased by 20% this year what is the price now solution amita said that she would first find the increase in the price which is 20% of rupees 34000 and then find the new price 20% of 34000 is equal to rupees 20 by 100 into 34000 is equal to rupees 6800 new price is equal to old price plus increase is equal to rupees 34000 plus rupees 6800 is equal to rupees 40800 or sunita used the unitary method 20% increase means rupees 100 increased to rupees 120 so rupees 34000 will increase to increased price is equal to rupees 120 by 100 into 34000 is equal to rupees 40800 similarly a percentage decrease in price would imply finding the actual decrease followed by its subtraction from the original price suppose in order to increase its sale the price of scooter was decreased by 5% then let us find the price of scooter price of scooter is equal to 34000 rupees reduction is equal to 5% of rupees 34000 rupees 5 by 100 into 34000 is equal to rupees 1700 new price is equal to old price minus reduction is equal to rupees 34000 minus rupees 1700 is equal to rupees 32300 we will also use this in the next section of the chapter 3.3 finding discounts discount is a reduction given on the market price or mp of the article this is generally given to attract customers to buy goods or to promote sales of the goods you can find the discount by subtracting its sale price from its marked price so discount is equal to marked price minus sale price page number 121 example 3 an item marked at rupees 840 is sold for rupees 714 what is the discount and discount percentage solution discount is equal to marked price minus sale price rupees 840 minus rupees 714 is equal to rupees 126 there is an image of a girl who says since discount is on marked price we will have to use marked price as the base on marked price of rupees 840 the discount is rupees 126 on mp of rupees 100 how much will the discount be discount is equal to 126 by 840 in 200% which is equal to 15% there is an image of a teacher here 
she says. You can also find discounts when discount percent is given. Example 4. The list price of a frock is Rs. 220. A discount of 20% is announced on sales. What is the amount of discount on it and its sale price? Solution Marked price is same as the list price. 20% discount means that on Rs. 100 MP, the discount is Rs. 20. By unitary method, on Rs. 1 discount, the discount will be Rs. 20 by 100. On Rs. 220, discount is equal to 20 by 100 into 220 is equal to 44. The sale price is equal to 220 minus 44 or Rs. 176. Rehana found the sale price like this. A discount of 20% means for a MP of Rs. 100, discount is 20. Hence, the sale price is Rs. 80. Using unitary method, when MP is Rs. 100, sale price is Rs. 80. When MP is Rs. 1, sale price is Rs. 80 by 100. Hence, when MP is Rs. 220, sale price is equal to Rs. 80 by 100 into 220 is equal to Rs. 176. We have an image of a frock here. 20% off is written over it. The price of frock is Rs. 220. There is an image of a girl on right side of the page. She is saying, even though the discount was not found, I could find the sale price directly. Try these. 1. A shop gives 20% discount. What would the sale price of each of these be? A. A dress marked at Rs. 120. B. A pair of shoes marked at Rs. 750. C. A bag marked at Rs. 250. 2. A table marked at Rs. 15,000 is available for Rs. 14,400. Find the discount given and the discount percent. 3. An Almira is sold at Rs. 5,225 after allowing a discount of 5%. Find its marked price. Page number 122 8.3.1 Estimation in Percentages Your bill in a shop is Rs. 577.80 and the shopkeeper gives a discount of 15%. How would you estimate the amount to be paid? 1. Round off the bill to the nearest tens of Rs. 577.80 that is to rupees 580 2 find 10% of this that is rupees 10 by 100 into 580 is equal to rupees 58 3 take half of this that is half multiplied by 58 is equal to rupees 29 4 add the amounts in 2 and 3 to get 87 you could therefore reduce your bill amount by rupees 87 or by about rupees 85 which will be rupees 495 approximately 1 try estimating 20% of the same bill amount 2 try finding 15% of rupees 375 8.4 prices related to buying and selling Profit and loss. We have a conversation given here. There is an image of a girl who says, For the school fair or mela, I am going to put a stall of lucky dips. I will charge rupees 10 for one lucky dip, but I will buy items which are worth 5 rupees. There is an image of a boy who is asking her, so, you are making a profit of 100%? The girl replies, No, 
I will spend three rupees on paper to wrap the gift and tape. So my expenditure is eight rupees. This gives me a profit of two rupees, which is two by eight in two hundred percent, which is equal to twenty five percent only. There is an image of a teacher here. She says, sometimes when an article is bought, some additional expenses are made while buying or before selling it. These expenses have to be included in the cost price. These expenses are sometimes referred to as overhead charges. These may include expenses like amount spent on repairs, labor charges, transportation, etc. 8.4.1 Finding cost price or selling price, profit percentage or loss percentage. Example 5 Sohan bought a second hand refrigerator for rupees 2500 then spent rupees 500 on its repairs and sold it for rupees 3300 find his loss or gain percent solution cost price or cp is equal to 2500 plus 500 overhead expenses are added to give cp which is equal to rupees 3000 sale price or sp is equal to rupees 3300 as sp is more than cp he made a profit rupees 3300 minus rupees 3000 is equal to rupees 300 his profit on rupees 3000 is rupees 300 how much would be his profit on rupees 100 profit is equal to 300 by 3000 into 100 percent which is equal to 30 by 3 percent which is equal to 10 percent p percent is equal to p by cp into 100 page number 123 try these 1 find selling price or sp if a profit of 5 percent is made on a a cycle of rupees 700 with rupees 50 as overhead charges b a lawn mower bought at rupees 1150 with rupees 50 as transportation charges c a fan bought for rupees 560 and expenses of rupees 40 made on its repairs example 6 a shopkeeper purchased 200 bulbs for rupees 10 each however five bulbs were fused and had to be thrown away the remaining were sold at rupees 12 each find the gain or loss percent solution cost price of 200 bulbs is equal to 200 into 10 is equal to rupees 2000 five bulbs were fused hence number of bulbs left is equal to 200 minus 5 is equal to 195 these were sold at rupees 12 each the sp of 195 bulbs is equal to rupees 195 into 12 is equal to rupees 2340 he obviously made a profit as sp is more than cp profit is equal to 2340 minus 2000 is equal to rupees 340 on rupees 2000 the profit is rupees 340 how much profit is made on rupees 100 profit is equal to 340 by 2000 in 200 percent is equal to 17 percent here we have an image of bulb cp is rupees 10 sp is rupees 12 example 7 minu bought two fans for rupees 1200 each she sold one at a loss of 5% and the other at a profit of 10%. Find the selling price of each. Also find out the total profit or loss. Solution. Overall CP of each fan is equal to rupees 1200. One is sold at a loss of 5%. This means if CP is rupees 100, SP is rupees 95. 
Therefore, when CP is Rs. 1200, then SP is equal to Rs. 95 by 100 into 1200 is equal to Rs. 1140. Also, second fan is sold at a profit of 10%. It means, if CP is Rs. 100, SP is Rs. 110. Therefore, when CP is Rs. 1200, then SP is equal to Rs. 110 by 100 into 1200 is equal to Rs. 1320. There is an image of a teacher on the right side of the page. She is asking, was there an overall loss or gain? There is an image of a young girl who replies, we need to find the combined CP and SP to say whether there was an overall profit or loss. Total CP is equal to Rs. 1200 plus Rs. 1200 is equal to Rs. 2400. Total SP is equal to Rs. 1140 plus Rs. 1320 is equal to Rs. 2460. Since total SP is more than total CP, a profit of Rs. 2460 minus 2400 or rupees 60 has been made. Try these. 1. A shopkeeper bought two TV sets at rupees 10,000 each. He sold one at a profit 10% and the other at a loss of 10%. Find whether he made an overall profit or loss. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T New Delhi, India